Hi everyone, it's Ashley Stringer and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Over the last few months, I shared two sweet treat recipes on how to make gluten-free brownies as well as gluten-free chocolate chip cookies that I know you're going to enjoy if you're watching this video. But today I'm going to share with you two savory recipes on how to make cheesy gluten-free garlic bread as well as how to make your own gluten-free crust. So if that sounds interesting to you and you're like, I want to learn how to make that, well keep on watching. If you're going to be following along with the recipe today, you're going to need almond flour, baking powder, some different cheese varieties. Personally, today I'm gonna to use cheddar, mozzarella, and some shaved Parmesan. Also some pizza toppings of your choice. I have mini bell peppers, baby tomatoes, some thinly sliced cucumber, parsley, a ton of different seasonings, and then if you have all that, you're good to go. So starting off, I have some microwave safe bowls. We're gonna use the red bowl for our garlic bread and the blue one for our pizza dough. So you're gonna need three quarters of a cup for each recipe. So three quarters here and three quarters here. Here is my almond flour of choice. You can see me scooping up our flour and putting it in our bowls. Next up, we are gonna use a tablespoon of baking powder. After we've added our almond flour to both bowls and our baking powder, this is the fun part for me is adding all of the different seasonings. So this is really just up to personal choice. I definitely think that they need seasoning, but the seasoning of what you're going to use is it's up to you. So I'm going to start off with our garlic bread. So for sure, I'm going to use some garlic powder. So I'm just going to eyeball it, kind of add as much as I want. Don't judge for my seasoning choices. Also, you can totally add fresh garlic. I just didn't have any at the moment. So, oh, come up pretty quickly. My camera lady, um, mother, is uh, telling me yes to this onion. So, okay, let's do a little bit of that. Maybe a lot. I'm thinking a little bit of rosemary as well. I love rosemary seasoning. This may look like a lot of seasoning, but just wait till we get to our next one. Mom, <laughs> Mom is literally saying how delicious this smells. Okay. I think we're good here. We'll kind of, I'm gonna play it by ear once we add our cheese, but let's move on to our pizza flour. Now this might seem odd, but I'm going to add everything but the bagel seasoning to my pizza crust. It's specifically Parmesan flavored. So if you get it, you get it. I added this seasoning the last time I made this pizza crust and the seasoning I feel like took my pizza to the next level. <laughs> what? We're having seasoning with our bread but it's delicious. Sorry I'm, about my commentary, but this, this smells so good. I don't, I'm gonna add a little bit more to that one. I, that's what I'm saying, I know it probably looks like that is a lot of seasoning. It's not, it's gonna taste so good. Like you just have to trust the process. From here, we are going to add our cheese after I have mixed everything up. I think for our garlic bread, our cheesy garlic bread, I'm gonna really do a mix of all of our cheeses so we can get that crazy cheesy flavor. But for the pizza crust, I think I'm just gonna maybe stick to a mild cheddar today. As mentioned, our cheese mix for the garlic bread is going to be mild cheddar, Parmesan, and mozzarella. And then for the pizza dough, it's just a cup of mild cheddar. Our next step is to microwave for one minute each bowl. Now that everything is microwaved, we are gonna take two eggs, one at a time for each recipe. And I'm going to whisk this egg and then apply it over this cheesy flour mixture. I'm not wearing any jewelry on my hands or on my wrists because I'm going to need to use my hands to knead this dough. So I'm gonna put some gloves on just to keep things from getting a little less messy. That was gonna be a challenge right here. This is the most difficult part about the recipe. You have some gloves, oh see I'm already, I'm struggling. Now I'm ready, I'm gonna take pizza, move it to the side, so we're gonna focus first on garlic bread, pour my whisked egg all over, we just start taking everything and kneading it. I have totally tried to do this without gloves before, and it, it just isn't the same, so definitely have gloves if you can. Our dough 
is ready. I have a baking sheet with some parchment paper, as you can see, and I'm gonna put our garlic bread on one side and our cheesy crust on the other. Let's start here. But we're gonna really need to flatten it out, but I'm gonna just use my hands, that's why I still have my gloves on. Once your dough is flat and to your liking, then we can move on to the next step. My oven, I preheated it to 350, and now I'm gonna go ahead and stick my dough in for 10 minutes. Our 10 minute timer is done. And if you're wondering, actually you stuck your pizza crust in without any toppings. It's because we had to really let that dough cook. Let's get the ingredients. From here, last time I made this, this is one of my favorite toppings I added was some just sliced baby bell peppers. For the pizza crust, I added the toppings I mentioned at the beginning of the video, along with some mozzarella to finish it on top, just so my veggies wouldn't burn. And then for the garlic bread, I added mild cheddar and shredded parmesan and put it on a low boil for about two minutes and just kept my eye on it to make sure it wasn't going to burn. It turned out just to my liking, crunchy on the outside and gooey cheesy on the inside. It smells amazing, it looks amazing. Now it's time to cut them up and enjoy what we've created. So, let's get right into it. It's so good, friends. It tastes so normal. I feel like for those of us that have allergies, sometimes food that works for us doesn't really taste the greatest, and it kind of tastes abnormal. This tastes like a normal, like, delicious garlic bread, cheesy garlic bread, and I already know that's going to be absolutely incredible. So just trust me, make this recipe. It's so delicious. I'm going to keep enjoying it. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I definitely had a great time. I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Give this video a like, share it with your friends, subscribe, and check out my latest music video, Sick Girl. I will see you guys next week. Bye.